Good morning, YouTube land. How are you guys and gals today? Well, as you can tell, I am kind of on the raspy side. I've been fighting this, this cold for the past few days, and it's been horrible. About, excuse me, about 12 years ago, I was at this company, and there was a union bank, and the one of the administrators came into the office that I was working at, and she said, Anna, we're giving away uh, the flu shots, and they're free. And I was like, wow, I've never had the flu shot in my life. You know, I mean, I mean, I really didn't know what it was, except it was a shot that prevented you from getting the flu. So, you know, like a gullible person that I was, <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. And since I worked in the same building, I didn't have to pay for it. I thought it was going to be a really good thing. So on my lunch break, I went and I got the flu shot. Well, within the hour, I started having the most horrible aches, pains, body aches, the headache. I felt sick to my stomach. And, and I was like, oh my gosh, what's wrong with me? I mean, I got the flu shot. Why am I feeling this way? I had no idea that getting the flu shot is partaking in having the flu virus put inside your body. I know. I was so dumb. So anyways, I just want to tell you that we are in that season. We're in that season of getting sick. We're in that season. If you have kids, you're going to get sick. If you have, you know, multiple kids, the symptoms could be double. If you've got four children, such as I, it's horrible. I you know it's really bad, but you know what? That's not what this video is about. This video is all about encouraging you out there in YouTube land. And thank God it's just YouTube land. You know, where I don't have to like all myself up and you know it's not a beauty contest and it's just YouTube there are so many videos on YouTube to educate you to entertain you to give you great ideas for sprucing up your house and 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 do it yourself costume ideas and and how to do your hair and your nails this channel focuses on Jesus. This channel is dedicated to Jesus and his followers. Now, today I want to just talk to you just a little tiny bit about his perfect peace. His perfect peace is all that matters to me. Because in him and through him is peace. There is no peace in this world that we live in right now. As a matter of fact, I don't know if you've heard, but in Georgia and like near the Carolina areas over here in the East Coast, there's been fires. And the only way I heard about that is was, I was just on the internet, you know, just kind of poking around, and I was like, wow, there's some fires going on. And then, a couple days ago, I was again, I was like poking around on the internet, type, 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 oh, what's going on? Because I don't have CNN, and I don't have, you know, like the Fox News with the beautiful anchor women and all that. That's all run through cable. And I don't get cable. So, anyways, I heard that on the internet that Israel and Jerusalem and, and, and the surrounding cities were on fire and ablaze. And so, I, I just called my mom. 
I was like, oh my gosh, mom, did you know, did you know that, that Jerusalem and Israel, you know, they're, they're, it's being burned and there's cities that are being burned. And my mom was like, I know, Donna, just calm down, calm down. And I was like, but mom, that's not right. You know, something's got to be done about this. That's Israel. We're supposed to be keeping our eyes on Israel. We're supposed to be praying for those people. I'm like, Mom, what is going on? She's like, Donna, just calm down. It's Zachariah. And I'm like, Mom, what do you mean it's Zachariah? And she's like, hold on a minute. And she went and she grabs her Bible. And she starts reading out of Zechariah. And I was like, oh, wow, yeah, that makes sense. You know, there's so many prophecies that over 2,000 years ago have been foretold by Jesus himself. Jesus warned his people. And throughout the generations, you know, the, the people of God, God's people, we have to not only uplift and encourage our children, but ask that knowledge and that hope and that perfect peace, that inner peace. You know, it's hard. It's hard to have peace when your physical eyes see war, hear war, hear about rumors of war, hear about economic collapse, hear about the mark of the beast, hear about the new world order, hear about Putin and, and the threats, hear about Donald Trump doesn't want to live in the White House and how how Mr. Oh No is, is you know, not going to move out and, you know, all the conspiracy theories, right? Because if it doesn't happen, it's just a conspiracy theory. And there's one thing that's going to happen that's not a conspiracy theory. And that is the soon return, the soon glorious coming of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. I know so many people don't believe. They're like, oh, that's not ever going to happen. That's just a dream that... that you know, that, that somebody made up. And, and it's the Christians that are gullible to believe it. It's a lie. Well, I'm telling you it's not a lie. It's going to happen. It's going to happen when people least expect it. And in Matthew and in Mark, I don't know the chapter or the verse, but it says it's just going to be a normal day. It's just going to be a normal day. Jesus says people are going to be eating, they're going to be drinking, they're going to be getting married, they're going to be shopping, they're going to be eating a nice dinner with their family, they're going to be putting on makeup to go out with their friends. It's going to be just another day, except when the Lord comes back for his followers and for his believers. That's why I pray that somebody that watches my videos, they get it. I want, you to, I want you to know that you're a sinner. You're saved by grace. All of your sins, once you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, all of your sins, past, present, and future, meaning tomorrow and next week, it's forgiven. It's covered under the blood of Jesus. Have you ever played um, paper, rock, scissors? Paper, rock, scissors. Paper, rock, scissors. Okay? So you got to think when, you know, this isn't a game, but you got the paper that can be cut. And then you got the rock that can smash the scissors. Okay? And then you got the scissors that can cut the paper. But I'm here to tell you that all your sins are forgiven. Because 
If you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, number one, you get that peace. You get it. Like, I, I, I got it, but I don't know how I get it because I see everything going around and it just takes my mama to read me a Bible verse and then I'm like, thank God. You know, thank God Jesus knew what was going to be happening in these days. Jesus knew people were going to be walking away from the faith. Jesus knew that there's a lot of people that just, they just talk the talk, but they can't walk the walk. Okay, seriously. It's hard to be a Christian. It's not easy. It's hard. Number one, we're supposed to give up our pagan holiday celebrating traditions. We are. And I shouldn't have celebrated Halloween a couple months ago, but my kids are little and they wanted the candy. I know how stupid, but, you know, they know it. I explained to them what Halloween is, so I don't think there's going to be one for our family next year. Now, this Christmas, we used to buy a tree and get all the presents. And last year, I told them that if you turn some certain words around in Santa, it becomes... Satan. I know. So I educated my children. So this year, you know, I was like, what do you guys want for Christmas? And they looked at me like, Mom, we're not celebrating Christmas anymore. Remember, it's all, it's all about Jesus. Jesus is the reason for the season. And I was like, oh my gosh, you guys are so awesome. How did you get like that? Of course, I just act like it didn't come from me. Because you know what? For all I know, it's the Holy Spirit. I'm praying over them kids every day, all day long. Seriously. Okay, now I got a Bible verse before I click off and say goodbye. This Bible verse actually going to be found in John chapter 14 verse 27 open your bible you're going to find it and read it with me are you there yet are you there yet are you there yet <laughs> peace I leave with you my peace I give unto you not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, and neither let it be afraid. I know. There's like all kinds of Bible verses, and that's like one of my all-time favorites, especially right now especially. Now, I want to leave you one more because there's so much hope. There's, you know, when I tell you that Jesus is the Prince of Peace, he is. And the work of righteousness shall be peace. And the effect of righteousness, quietness, and assurance forever. I know, that's in Isaiah. That's in Isaiah chapter 32, verse 17. Thy faith has saved thee. Go in peace. So with that one, I'm going to say goodbye. Go in peace. I know that's short and sweet, right? That's in Luke chapter 7, verse 50. So, I hope this helped somebody today. It's actually the very end of November. So, if you are going to get them germs from your kids, may I strongly suggest Theraflu. It works. It kicks it out, knocks it out, helps you restore your voice by about 3 in the afternoon. I should be talking back to normal. And I just love Jesus. Have a blessed day, my brothers and my sisters. I love you so much. And we're going to be together soon.
sooner than you think. So keep your eyes on the skies and just keep looking up for our redemption draws nigh. That means it's closer than it is today than it was yesterday. And Jesus loves you. Be blessed, youngins. And I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye.